Hello everybody and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Last time, we entered this sanctuary after rescuing Princess Zelda from the dungeon in the castle, and this old guy is going to take care of her while we go search for information on the Master Sword from a village elder. So, why don't we head on out of here? Actually, really quickly, let's switch to the boomerang, because I don't really trust myself with the magic and the lamp. Alright, we're out of the sanctuary! Which means... Now we got to face lots more soldiers! Yeah, because that's always fun. Dude. Thank you. Okay. So, first off, we're going to head over this way. We actually have a lot to do in this episode. Oh, God. Dude, dude, dude. Aha! Take that. I didn't need the heart, but thank you anyway. Anyway, this sign's gonna say that Kakariko Village is that way, to the left. That's where we need to go, but we're not gonna go there quite yet. First off, we're gonna destroy you. Is there any... No, we don't go from this way. We probably can, but I'm just gonna go the way that I've played it. Anyway, down here is Kakariko Village. We'll come down there in a second. But... <gasps> CHICKEN! 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 Chicken, you're my friend! You're my friend, Chicken. I love you. Actually, I think beginning in this game is uh, when you do a special event with Cuckoos. If you attack them long enough... Yep, here comes the flock! Oh god! 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 Oh god. That was tough. Anyway, hey guy, what are you doing? Hmm, you like. You look like you might have an interesting destiny. May I tell your fortune? I'll make it cheap. Uh, you can pay him. I think it's 60 rupees. I'm not 100% sure. I've never really done it before. But he just tells you what to do next, so do it if you want to, but I don't need to. It is indeed a poor man who is not interested in his future. I'll be waiting for you to return. That's cool, but I'm not coming back. Okay, so enough cuckoo abuse. We're going to actually do some progress in this episode. We come over... Damn it. Drop a heart. Thank you. Okay, I needed one of those. Anyway... If we come in here, and I'm going to prepare my sword for the... Ah, there we go. Yeah, Vulture, take that. Ooh, secret place. Hey, guy. What's up? Hey, kid. This is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. That's not nice to tattle on your friend. Well, ex-friend for that matter. Anyway- Oh, a piece of heart! I want it, 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 I want it! Okay, we'll go get it. We'll go get it. That's the first piece of heart of the game. One out of 24, I do believe. So, right behind the base, if you come here and cut down the shrub and fall down the hole, you will receive your, well, found, your first piece of heart. Again, that's one of 24, I do believe, in the game, so we will collect all of them. I'll show off where they all are, so don't worry about that. All right, there's actually something else that we can do here in the Lost Woods. I do believe if you come over this way, yep, here it is. Pick up the rupee first. This, this mushroom smells like sweet, rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Select it and press the A button. Now, this mushroom will come into play a little bit later, uh, probably before we take on the first dungeon, so... Uh, so yeah. We'll come back to the Lost Woods eventually. Not yet, but eventually. Alright, so, now that we're out of here, dude, why did you attack... Really? Come on, come on, come on, guy, come on, there we go. Alright, drop your heart, thank you. Okay, so... Again, Kakariko Village is down this way. Let's go exploring, shall we? What's up, everybody in Kakariko? This is Link. 
coming at you. Alright, first off, we're actually going to go over this way, all the way to the left, and drop down this well. And, in this chest right here, we're gonna get some bombs. You can pick up and throw a bomb you've placed by pressing the R button. Excellent. Okay, and conveniently, there's actually a place that we can bomb right here. So, why don't we go bomb it? And I'm gonna switch back to the boomerang, because, again, I don't trust myself. And while that blows up, we can pick up some money! Oh yeah! You're gonna need a lot of rupees eventually, so pick up as many as you can find. Alright, and if we come all the way back here, there is a treasure chest. And inside this treasure chest is your second piece of heart. We can pick up a couple in uh, Kakariko Village here, so... We're gonna go, bo uh, go be doing that, rather. Excuse me. And what's in these pots? Just some hearts? Yep. Alright. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, this guy! Hey guy, what's up? You, sir! Have you been going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Well, step right up and make your life complete! I've got one on sale now for the low, low price of 100 rupees! What do you say? Interested? This is why you want some rupees, not only for this, but you're gonna need it for later on in the game. Goodbye! Thanks a lot! Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see, okay? It's good for business. And with that, for 100 rupees we get a magic bottle! You can store an item inside and use it later! Alright, interesting. So, um, actually, I think we can pick up another- nope, not from this way. Oh, hello, old lady. Sup, how you doing? Oh, Link, someone's been spreading rumors, saying you've kidnapped the princess. But I still trust you. Thanks, Grammy. And if we come over here, lots of cuckoos. Don't worry, I'm not going to attack them, because, frankly, I don't want to be- raped by them again. Anyway, if we bomb this wall here, secret passage! There's a difference between the GBA version, which I'm playing, and the SNES version, and here you will find arrows, but uh, in the SNES version you'll find arrows, rather, and here you'll just find tw uh, 20 rupees. Okay. Hey, what's up, girl? Hey, uh, what? Uh, okay. Well, if we come in here... Bro, what's up? I can't go out because I'm sick. <coughs> People say I caught this cold from the evil air coming down off the mountain. <sniffs> this is my bug catching net. I'll use it when I'm better. But for now, I think I'll lend it to you. And we borrowed, quote-unquote, the bug-catching bug bun catching net. There may be some other things you can catch with it, too. Alright, interesting. And look who it is! Look who is trying to steal the spotlight from Wink! Look, ju just look! Yeah, it's you! It's this guy! It's this guy! And why... okay. It's another building that he does it. Okay, so I ruined it by doing it in that one. Anyway... There's a hole in this area of, well, I guess this is the bar, and in this chest right here, you can get another magic bottle. And we already know what it does, so. Chicken! Anyway, let's go this way. Um, actually, we have one bomb left, so we gotta be very careful here. We can pick up more in that shop up there, which I should probably do. But, if we come this way, and I forgot that you can automatically do this, but... Stand right in the middle, place a bomb, and... Whoops, meant to throw up the boomerang. A magic hole appears! Oh, hey, what's up, rats? I don't remember you being here. But that's cool. But basically, this is where you can pick up money and some extra bombs, so... This should be one of the first places you come with your three bombs from that well. All right, so now that we're done with that, oh my God, a fairy! Oh my God! Come here, fairy! Yeah, look at that! Yes, I will keep it in a bottle. I did not expect that. That is awesome. Hey, little boy, how's it going? I'm gonna just shop first. What's up, girl? 
May I help you? Select the thing you'd like. Press the R button. Prices as marked. I would really like that red potion, but can't really get that. I'll just pick up these bombs. Did you know you can pick up a bomb? Yeah, yeah, I already knew that. Yes, I already knew how to place a bomb and pick it up. Well, that was a bit of a waste of money, but that's fine. Anyway, this is the bar, I do believe, so let's enter the front this time. Hey, guy, what's going on? Oh, my poor flute-playing son. How I miss the sound of his flute. He went to look for the golden power, but he has not returned. I wonder where he is, and what he's doing now. <clears throat> Okay, so the old guy fell asleep. I don't know if he's drunk or not, but this guy definitely is sauced. Whoa, I saw her. A beautiful young lady at the Waterfall of Wishing, in the hills where the river begins. Link, you should meet her at least once. I'm sure you will like her. That's a cool story there, drunk guy. Anyway, um, is there anything else we can do? Actually, let's go find the painting of Mario that is actually going to give you something. It's not right here, but hey guy, what's going on? Hi Link, sorry about my yard, but thanks for coming through it to see me. I'm glad to have someone to talk to, so let me tell you an interesting story. There is a lake swimming with Zoras at the source of the river, but it is hard to find. Tales say the Zora's treasure can turn people into fish. <laughs> I'd love to see that. That's a cool story. Maybe we'll go figure that out sometime. Alright, where is the Mario painting that gives you stuff? Is it in this house over here? No. This is where Bug Catching Sick Boy is. Um, I do believe that if we... Hey, it's Link! The Wanted Man! He's over here! Soldiers! Anyone! Come quickly! Oh, you bitch. You bitch. Oh, God. Run! Run! Dude! I need to... No, let me in! Okay, now that resets. Yeah, you just gotta watch out here. I believe this sign and the ones around will say, Wanted for kidnapping Princess Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. And we basically have a Pinocchio nose in this concept art. Avoid singer, I do believe. Yes, it is this one. Hey, Mario, what's up? I'm going to pull on your face and get some rupees. I believe it is rare, but I believe you can get uh, 20 rupees each. So, 420 rupees, 80 in total. That sounds like a fun time. I'm going to pick up that rupee. There were some houses I believe I saw up here that we didn't explore. Yeah, look, these fences right here. All right, let's go talk to these guys inside here. What's up, bro? I'm gonna steal your pots. I don't really need the heart, but I guess I'll take it. And some more money. Hey, guy. Yo, Link! This house used to be a hideout for a gang of thieves! What was their leader's name? Oh, yeah! His name was Blind, and he really hated bright light. Blinded by the light. Anyway, over here, there's a bombable wall! So, let's do that. And back here, after going through all these pots, picking up some rupees along the way, 30 rupees in fact in total, we will find our third piece of heart! Oh yeah! Lots of hearts here in Kakariko Village. Anyway, there's actually a puzzle you can do here, and I hope I can get this right. Um... Uh... Uh... Yes? Yes? Yeah, I can get all of them. Four... Chest full of 20 rupees! Oh yeah! Which is good, because... You're gonna need this money. I think I mentioned that earlier, but just in case, I'll say it again. Okay, so now that we raided this guy's house, let's go next door and see what's going on there. Nobody. How about on this side? Hey, look, it's an old lady. I'm gonna break your pots, old lady. I'm sorry. Nothing in these pots. Hooray. All right, let's see what she has to say. Who? Oh, it's you, Link! 
What can an old woman like me do for a youngster like you? Who? The elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began abducting his victims. What? Master Sword? Well, I don't recall the details exactly, but... Long ago, a prosperous people, known as the Hylians, inhabited this land. Legends tell of treasures with mystical powers that remain from the Hylian Age. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged to thwart those with evil hearts, is one. It is said that even now it rests deep in the forest. Do you understand the legend? I understand the legend of Zelda, so yes, I guess. At any rate, seek the Elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. Link, take care. You got it, old lady. Keep sweeping. Alright. So... Do you remember that little boy that we saw earlier near the shop? He's the only one we haven't talked to yet. So, why don't we go do that right now? Sup, bro? Hi, Link. Who? The old guy? You mean the elder? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad guys about this. He's hiding in the palace near past the castle. I'll mark the spot for you on your map. All right, so now we know where the village elder is. If we open up the map, we can see... Oh, there it is. The blinking red X. That is where we need to go. Yeah, we need to make our way all the way over there. And we are going to be doing that in the next episode. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past... We will head out of Kakarika Village and start making our way to the a building near the... Uh, we'll start making our way to the palace near... Uh, you know what? We're just going to find the village elder. See you next time.